Hello there. It may be a bank holiday Monday, but there were still some juicy Brexit stories floating around. The first Brexit story is that the EU chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier has said that the UK will be vulnerable to terrorist attacks after Brexit. He wrote in the French newspaper Le Monde that there would be practical consequences on defence and security for the UK on leaving the EU. He pointed out that the UK defence minister would no longer be sitting at the European Defence Agency and Europol tables. As we are leaving the EU, I had expected that we would be leaving these two organisations, as well as others. But for a start, we're still all members of Interpol, with the UK having joined that organisation in 1928. I would also be amazed if the UK and EU could not come to an agreement on this almost overnight, as I cannot see how on earth any of the nations in the EU could possibly want to see people hurt just to prove a point over Brexit. Or am I wrong about these people? Anyway, one of the reasons I voted to leave was that I could see the weakness of EU and Schengen security and the threat it poses to the UK. So I decided that our best route was to leave and re-establish a proper border to protect ourselves. Next on the list, it seems that non-UK fishermen are getting concerned about their access to UK waters after Brexit. The Express quotes Bruno de Cordier, a fisherman from Ostend, who said that 60% of his catch comes from UK waters and hopes that he will be able to continue to fish there after Brexit. We hope we can make a good agreement for both countries so that we can still fish there, he said. The managing director of the shipowners' organisation, Reda Centrale, Emile Bruckhart, said that while there were many things about the common fisheries policy that Belgian fishermen did not like, he also said that we have our clear demands to keep that access, to keep the fishing quotas and possibilities as they are now. I'll leave you to make of that what you will. Another good story is over on the Guido Fawkes political blog. It appears that even the Remainers are getting a bit put out by the Guardian coverage of Brexit. According to Guido, many Remainers are saying that the pro-EU Guardian keeps getting its basic Brexit facts wrong and he gives some examples of it. He also splits pro-Remain journos into two categories, the pragmatic acceptors of Brexit and those in denial. I've left a link in the description box to his site below and it's well worth a read. Cracks are now appearing in the EU's position of getting the UK to pay an exorbitant amount of money just to get to the trade negotiating table. But with the UK refusing to open its chequebook, other members of the EU as well as businesses are beginning to see that if there is a cliff edge, it could be them falling over it. They are therefore keen to break the deadlock, which may see the hardline negotiators having to back down. However, the plan they have come up with that ties the UK into a three-year transitional deal of paying £10 billion a year to the EU and obeying its laws I don't think will go down terribly well with UK Brexiteers. How about you? Lastly, I found a new word today, which if I'm pronouncing it correctly is Baizu. It's of Chinese origin and means white left. Here is a summing up from an article in Open Democracy for which I've left a link in the description below. Although the emphasis varies, Baizu is used generally to describe those who only care about topics such as immigration, minorities, LGBT and the environment and have no sense of real problems in the real world. They are hypocritical humanitarians who advocate for peace and equality only to satisfy their own feeling of moral superiority. They are obsessed with political correctness to the extent that they tolerate backwards Islamic values for the sake of multiculturalism. They believe in the welfare state that benefits only the idle and the free riders. They are ignorant and arrogant Westerners who pity the rest of the world and think they are saviours. What a marvellous word, and looking back I can see thousands of times I could have used it. Do you like the word Baizu? 
please leave a comment below and also see if you can work it into online conversations. Thank you. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.